Welcome to this new video. This video is regarding an interview question. This is a common interview question to get the last seven days sales from the selected date. So you have a slicer here. You will be selecting one date here. And with respect to that date, you need to get the previous seven days. So how it has been calculated. So this is the result for that. So we have selected January 8 and January 8 and the previous seven days. And we are getting the total amount of 2,415. You can put it to the bar chart also. This is the question, how we can approach the question. So first one is the selected date. When you select a date, that, will, that date will become the max date because of the filter context which will be applying to these tables. So that will be considered as a max date if you are not giving any all DAX function. So what you can do is that you can get a dates and period function and dates and period will be having a starting date and the number of intervals and the interval. And the interval, of course, it will be a day because we are going to calculate it with respect to the days. The starting date, that can be the max date. You can get the max date because, of course, when you select 8, that will become the max date because of the filter. The function max date, so this 8 will be taken and the number of intervals, you can just give 7 minus minus because from eight you can go to back seven days so minus seven and the interval as day and hence we will be getting the result we will try an example for that we're having a data set here and we will be using the slicer here the slicer is for the calendar the date where which we need to be selecting we will use the date hierarchy and take the quarter from that so now we can select a table and this table will be showing the date we'll be using the purchase table and we will show the purchase date and the revenue revenue i have already created that measure for revenue and that measure is simple sumx purchase purchase revenue as mentioned before we will create a measure to get the last seven days from the selected date so we can give the name as the last seven days equals to calculate and we have the total revenue as measure itself we can give that measure itself total revenue and now we will use the filter functions we will use the time intelligence function of dates in period dates in period and the first date is the calendar date and the next one is the start date the start date as mentioned we will use the max date because the max date will be the selected date calendar day and then we will use minus seven because it will go back to seven days and of course the interval is day so you can track it to the table itself and now of course nothing is shown that is because we haven't selected any date now we will select 2016 june 7 we will select so when you selected june 7 of 2016 you got from 1 to 7 you got and the results also from 1 to 7 we got and the total value also you got of course, you can create a card also. You can create the card visual and you can select the last seven days total for that card visual. And even you can create a stacked column chart. And of course, you can select the stacked column chart. And here you can select the purchase date and the last seven days. So we have the last seven days revenue in the table as well as in a stacked column chart. If you are selecting June 6, you will be seeing the previous month's last day's revenue also that will be shown here also. And the total, you can show it in a chart. And this is a function we have used to create the last seven days. And of course, this is a common interview question. Hope this will help you. Have a nice day.